What's going on, good people? I had the opportunity to watch The Shy. The Shy on Showtime tonight, episode five. It's called Terror Town. And man, The Shy is like my favorite show on TV right now. They got so much going on. And the main thing, the main thing that we found out tonight is that, yes, Keisha. Keisha is still alive. Now, those of you who watched the show, the first, second episode, she was kidnapped. She disappeared. She was at the bus stop. Nobody knew what happened to her. And so then I think uh, last week they found a body, but it wasn't Keisha. But guess what, y'all? The power went out in Chicago, gave Keisha a chance to try to escape. She looks like she's in some type of basement. This dude has cameras all around. Uh, watching her, but the powers went out. Power went out. She was able to bust out the main door. S seemed like she went upstairs. She went out to another door. Seemed like she got outside. Of course, classic horror movie type of thing. She fell down, and who came up right behind her? But even though whoever's keeping her caught her, got her caught back up, guess who's walking down the street and heard her screams? Yes, Ronnie. Ronnie heard the screams, and y'all know Ronnie's on a mission to rededicate, relive his life. He got rebaptized, and, uh, you know, Ronnie's had it hard since he came home from the military, and uh, but he's found his purpose in life, and that is to find Keisha. So Ronnie was coming down the street. She heard, he heard her screams, and, of course, true TV fashion, uh, it cut off. So we don't know. Then to show the preview of next week, and he's knocking on the door. So it looks like he's hot on the tracks. Once again, though, this is episode five. There's 26 episodes. So uh, we got, they're going to string this out. Lena Watts going to string this out. But once again, I love this show. There's so much going on in this show. There's so many different storylines in the show. You got the situation, situation with Ronnie. You got the situation with Kevin and his girlfriend. Uh, they were out, Kevin. And there's two other uh, friends, Jake and uh, Big Papa, and they, they were out uh, at uh, some type of building, and the power went out, you know. So you got that relationship developing. And then, of course, uh, Jada. Jada's getting her groove back on. She's dating interracially. Uh, uh, I think that's correct. She's dating a Hispanic guy, and it goes with the, the kind of the friction, the thing going on with, with a uh, black woman, Hispanic family. She went to some type of event with um, this guy's family and come to find out his wife had passed. It just shows that interplay with the inter uh, relation, interracial relationships. But Jada's an older lady. Of course, she's Emmett's mama, and it's good to see her getting her groove on. She's trying to find love uh, as an older woman, and uh, it's really in And, of course, Jada's son, Jada's son Emmett, Emmett is a hustler. He's an entrepreneur. Of course, when he first started out, he was selling gym shoes. Uh, then he moved on and moving other stuff. Now he's in the restaurant business. You know, he can't cook. You know, he teamed up with uh, Brandon before Brandon uh, got killed off for some other reasons. But Brandon ended up getting killed off. And so he tried to keep the food truck going. But, of course, Emmett can't cook. But Emmett found a cook on the young lady who can cook. And Emmett is working in Sonny's restaurant. Once again, Emmett is a good salesman. He's a good entrepreneur. He's a good hustler. But he's not a cook. And uh, he was using Sonny's shop. Sonny would close at a certain time. And Emmett would sneak in. But it can't, all came to a head uh, last tonight where Sonny came to a shop. They had an after-hours thing going on. And Sonny let him have it. Sonny like, hey, man, you're not a man. I'm not, I'm done with you. I'm through with you. And you can see Emmett was crushed, but Emmett's going to bounce back because he is a survivor. He's an entrepreneur. Now, another storyline, man, there's so much going on in this show. Another storyline is with Jake. Jake, uh, his older brother got killed last season. And, uh, we weren't expecting for his older brother to get killed, but, but, uh, he, he got killed. And as a result of him getting killed, uh, Otis Perry bought him kind of from his mama, paid her for five grand, and is his his adoptive father somewhat. All right. 
Now, Otis Perry owns a pizza joint, and he's running for mayor. Also, he's like one of the biggest drug dealers on the south side of Chicago. As well. Just a small little fact. And by the way, his wife is played by, guess what? None other than the Real Housewives, Miss Candy Burrs, is playing his wife. And you know, Candy came on the scene. She actually had a sex scene on the show. And uh, for her not really to be an actress, an actor, uh, actress, I think she held her on. I think she did pretty good uh, in, in, in her sex scene. Tell me what you think as far as Candy being on the show. But anyway, back to Otis Perry, right? So Otis Perry has control or custody of Jake, so to speak. Of course, Otis Perry had her, his brother killed, by the way. Um, and more on that subject, like, no, we'll get it now. His older brother got killed. We weren't expecting his other older brother to get killed this year. But allegedly, the older brother did not want to have play a role where he's playing uh, a love interest with a transsexual woman and so the writers of the show killed him off and uh, what's that young man's name oh let me see if i can find him uh all right so i found the picture jake's older brother the guy right there in the blue shirt i forgot his name but he got killed off we weren't expecting him to get killed off but he got killed off allegedly because he didn't want to play uh have a love interest with a transgender woman and so tell me his name. Tell me his name in the comment if you know his name. I should know his name. He's Jake's brother. But, uh, 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 man, I should look it up, right? Reg, Reg, Reg. Yeah, Reg is his name. Reg is his name. So they killed Reg off. But as a result of Reg being killed off, then they brought in Luke James. Luke James, a singer, is playing tag or tage or something. And he's actually jake's and reg's older brother and he comes back into town with his trans trans woman girlfriend and that whole that i mean that's another storyline that's going on man lena white got storylines going on all over the place but anyway uh so you see you see uh luke james character trying to get jake back because he wants to be the responsible big brother now and the the, the, the friction or the confrontation between Otis Perry, who's running for mayor, who's adopted Jake, who always wanted to have a kid. You see that development. But it's really interesting because on this week's episode, Jake had a chance to see Otis Perry, his true, ruthless, uh, unpolished, drug-dealing, drug lord self when Otis Perry beat this guy up severely in the alley which called jake to run run and go to uh luke james and uh his girlfriend's apartment i keep saying luke james that's the that's the guy's real name he's a singer but i think his character name is is tig you know so that's what's going on uh it's really interesting to see the boys growing up and having their little love interest in their girlfriends uh big papa uh he has a girlfriend and of course, Big Popper is he's he's into the church. His dad's a pastor, and uh he's he's shiverish, you know. It uh if I use that word right, you know, he's romantic and he's he's with the uh with the uh with the lady, I forgot young girl her name, and um it's really interesting to see the, these boys grow up, you know, and develop relationships. So the plot thickens. Uh, there's a lot going on in this show. You get a chance, check it out. Once again, the shot is like my favorite TV series that's on TV right now. It's on Showtime. If you don't have Showtime, get a subscription just for the time period that, um, that this show is on. And once it's can once it's over, cancel your subscription because you'll, you'll enjoy it. I love the, I love the diversity of blackness, the diversity of blackness in this show. And to see, um, is it almost all black cast? I think it's almost an all black cast this season. Yeah, and it's it's cool to see that that we're not a monolithic um, group of people that think one way. Of course, you all, we as black people, we all know we have different perspectives. But to see this on TV and to see the love of uh, black people and dark skinned black people on TV, it's a beautiful show. Hope you get a chance to watch it. Episode five. Terror Town, the lights go out, and it gets real interesting. Once again, Keisha is 
alive. Now she's being kept by some weirdo, but she is still alive. And did y'all notice that 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 this guy who has Keisha captured, he has a whole lot of track suits? Did y'all notice that? I'm wondering. I'm wondering, is this maybe the track coach? You know the track coach that she was having an affair with, and then um, Brandon and Reg, you know, they they end up beating them up. Is it the trash coach? Is it the track coach? Who do you think it is? Or it is or is it some weirdo that we don't know? But anyway, tell me what you think of the show. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. Um, watch this show, y'all. It's called The Shy on Showtime. Time is episode five. Episode five, season three. It is worth your time. It's good TV watching on Sunday night. Not too many good shows on, in my opinion, because I'm not a big TV watcher, but this is well worth your time. All right, y'all. I may see you next week on this show. I may not. Live, love, and laugh. Love yourself. Be nice to each other. And we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.